Hello and welcome to the History of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Today's episode, Michael J. Nelson. Michael John Nelson, born October 11, 1964, in St. Charles, Illinois, is an American comedian, writer, musician, and actor who served as the head writer of the cult television series Mystery Science Theater 3000 from Season 2 through Season 10 and spent roughly half the time playing on-air host. Mike Nelson, series creator and former host Joel Hogginson, reportedly chose Nelson to be his replacement because he thought Nelson was a natural leader, gifted comedian, and musician. A gifted comedian and music, a gifted comedian and musician, and simply looked good standing next to the show's puppets. At the age of 12, he and his family moved to northwestern Wisconsin. Nelson studied theater and music at the University of Wisconsin River Falls, but he left before graduating and moved to the Minneapolis St. Paul area. Following the end of MST3K, Nelson continued to live in the Twin Cities of Minnesota. In 2006, he and his wife Bridget moved to San Diego, California. In 2014, they moved back to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Since the series ended, he has worked steadily as a writer, publishing several books. The first collected various columns, while he also published a novel, Mike Nelson's Death Rat. His other literary works include a series of pop culture humor jokes for Pop Inc. He has also provided humorous and informative commentary tracks for the DVD releases with several films, including Reefer Madness, House on Haunted Hill, and Plan 9 from Outer Space. With his MST3K co stars, Kevin Murphy and Bill Corbett, he was briefly part of a comedian team called The Film Crew, which has created comedy segments for NPR. Four Film Crew DVDs were produced for Rhino Entertainment, but pressure from Best Brains Inc. led to Rhino dropping the project. The episodes would later be released by Shout Factory. Nelson is a talented comedic actor who can portray both male and female characters and is known for his goofy charm and classically Midwestern appearance. He is married to fellow MST3K writer Bridget Nelson, and the pair have two sons. One of the projects put together by Nelson and Legend Films was Riff Track, a website offering the purchase of downloadable and audio commentaries. The first commentary made available through the service was for Roadhouse. According to a September 2006 podcast interview, Nelson feels Riff Tracks may be the closest thing to a reunion of the MST3K gang. In a 2006 podcast interview with SomethingAwful.com, Nelson was asked what he thought was the worst movie in general, and Nelson replied that it was Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace. Due to finding the film to be a flat premise, and not being a fan of the franchise or genre in general, much of the Riff Traff crew have varied on their experiences, riffing the movies as sometimes they will end up actually enjoying them or loathing them, but as long as it was a fun riffing experience, that's what counted for them. For instance, Mike commented that he actually enjoyed Captain America the First Avenger, which was later parodied by Riff Traff, and they had fun riffing Thor. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Special thanks to the MST3K Wiki for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.